Hi, I'm Dark Minded Sith, and welcome to a new cycle, a new link, and a new perspective. Our objective this cycle play the role of Cupid and get Anju and Cafe back together. Yes, this cycle, I'm going to be kind enough to let our good friend Link Goro have his hotel room he reserved. Yeah, it's worse than going to PAX East. <laughs> uh, deja vu. Kind of. Well, if only I looked like this. I'm sure you'd remember my face then, wouldn't you? Well, let's get on to what's really important. And that is finding out a thing or two about this mysterious cafe fellow. Alright, let's see. You don't say. Hmm, she doesn't seem to have too much to say about him yet. That's a good sign. That means I'm not too late. Looks like she's not going to have much to say until she gets that mysterious letter from the post office somewhere. But that won't be until around 2 o'clock. What can I do until then? Yeah, this will give a nice little tang to the soup. And Granny is sure to eat Andrew's cooking this time. Hey, don't look at me. You're the chef, darling. Yeah, and Granny's gonna love sinking her... She's gonna love this soup. Trying to kill me? Should have went with the mushrooms from Haynes Boxers instead. All right, Anju has received her letter. Using Cafe's mask, let's see what we can find out. Yeah, I've tried everything. Yelling, Marco. Well, if you're the one with the clue, then why don't you? Oh, forget it. 11.30? Chicks stay up late, don't you? I guess that's when all the good Lifetime movies come on. Shut the f*** up! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to meet Andrew at 11.30 tonight, and maybe find out a thing or two about Cafe. There's really nothing crucial that needs to be done until then, so at this point you can go ahead and just play the song of double time and skip to the night of day one. This is one of the few cycles in the game where I actually don't slow down time. Yes, you can have your room this time, Link Goro. And there will even be a little 100 rupee bonus in there for you to make up for all your troubles. You can go out and buy a fancy new necktie. Maybe some clothes. Well, it's close to 8.30, so it looks like Angie's going to be closing now, but... Thankfully, we agreed to meet her tonight, so certainly she's not going to kick us out and close the place, and... Well... So... Past 8.30, Anju is kind enough to lock us out of the Stockpot Inn. Even though we agreed to meet her at 11.30, she's... not going to leave us a key or let us knock or anything. Could always try the Pamela method, but... Don't appear to have any bombs. Well, looks like we're gonna have to find an alternative way into the hotel. So for you members of the Deku Alliance, you're in luck. We're going to use the Deku for a grand total of six seconds. Alright, just hop on in and fly like usual. So with this entrance, we have an alternative way of getting back into the stockpot in. Thank you, Anju, for throwing in that little inconvenience for us. I guess she just wanted to make sure we were really committed to helping her. Sneaking into the back area instead of going through the front door. I feel like I'm coming in late for my curfew. Alright, so really we just need to kill time until it's time to meet Anju at 11.30. 
So, how exciting was it when cavemen discovered fire? Alright, here in the kitchen. Ready to meet with Anju at 11.30, just like we agreed. She appears to be running fashionably late. That's alright. Probably just doing her hair or something. Yep, any minute now. Ah, there you are. Jeez, honey, it's like 11.50. You're like 20 minutes late. Alright. What you got for us, honey? Yeah, when you refer to your lover as him, with ellipses in front of it, that isn't a good sign. That's right, he dots his eyes with little hearts. Clear as an empty bottle. Alright, look, darling, I I'm not the king. You don't have to bow to me every time. You know, I've quite wondered why Anju doesn't just mail this letter herself. Like, what's to stop her from just putting this letter in a mailbox on her own? But really, when love and, in this case, heartbreak are involved, you'd, you'd be surprised the things that you can't bring yourself to do. Eh, I can't ignore a damsel in distress. Bow, wow, wow. So we get the letter to cafe. And a nice red velvet pouch. Do we get to keep that? So our first step in helping Anju and Cafe is to basically be a carrier pigeon. This is why I get up every morning. Yeah, she mentions tomorrow morning, but you can actually just go ahead and mail it right now. Before day two. Now that I think about it, Anju's got quite some nerve making me come down here at almost midnight. Just to tell me to mail a stinking letter. I shouldn't even bother. Fact. Oh, a hand in the toilet. I've got paper. <laughs> oh, I, I can't do it. Sorry, hand. Yeah, I do have this old piece of paper where I wrote my own Zelda timeline theory. You're, you're welcome to use that. Alright, so our last task for day one is to put the letter to cafe inside a mailbox. I don't believe I've shown these off yet, but you can just talk to these and... Oh, it speaks. Ka-ching! Guess it has to remind us that money is involved. The quest for love always involves spending some cash. Alright, we put in the letter and it's due to mail tomorrow morning, so... That about does it for day one, so I'll see you kiddos on day two. Mm. Alright, morning of day two. And here comes the postman. Yeah, that's right. I don't care if it's raining or if the moon's going to crash. Love is at stake here. Plus, it's part of your job, you know, brain, sleep, snow. Alright, he's got the letter. Dude, it's getting wet! And she was heart and soul went into that thing. Yeah, some people. What, what are you doing? You still have the letter. You're going back inside. You better deliver that. You don't get a lunch break when love is involved, pal. Get off your bed and deliver that dang letter. What do you think you're doing? Oh, pant, pant. And by perfectly, you better mean perfectly. No nearly tripping on your way there. No stopping to try to see if the banker is a boy or a girl. Only one letter. Well, can't say I blame people. With the moon possibly crashing and all our lives and children possibly dying. I mean, what's there to write about? All right, here in the laundry pool. The postman delivers the letter here close to about three o'clock. So really, as far as day two is concerned, you can really just come here and wait around until the postman shows up. There you are. Jeez, you're slow. I don't even have time slowed down. 
Ding dong. Alright, come out. There you are. Don't worry, it's just a letter. We're not asking you to join our religion or for donations. Especially not that, jeez. If I see one more PayPal link, I'll... Yeah, pay the man. Love has a price. My stepdad used to say, love is great, but it's also expensive. So now we have access to this house. Yeah, nice crib you got here. Two sets of stairs. And of course, it wouldn't be a house in Clock Town without a clock. Yeah, working on the great Terminian novel, I see. All right. Ah, there you are. Open up your secrets, pal. We got a lot to talk about. Purple hair, Pikachu mask. See, I can observe too, man. Huh. What else did she say? She complimented my pointy ears and manly physique too, didn't she? Eh, well, Link is known for being quite the blabbermouth. Ah. Well, you learn something new every day. Mindlessly agreeing to what the woman says. You, my friend, are taking the first step into marriage. Well, I shake my bones and I shake them well. When I'm lying, you know you can tell. Liar, liar, pants on fire, hanging from a telephone wire.